it's Melinda from MelindaZ.com and welcome to The 7 Habits of Highly Effective People. Stephen Covey wrote this book in 1989 and it's really withstood the test of time. People use it everywhere. They use it in, in corporate world, they use it in personal life and really that's the best way to use a habit is all around. It reinforces it in your life and it helps to build your own personal integrity and authenticity. So today we're going to start with habit number one which is be proactive not reactive so bottom line is life does not just happen you have the opportunity to design the life that you want you just have to make that proactive decision to make that design so life is full of choices you can choose to be happy you can choose to be sad you can choose to be successful you can choose to fail. People think that these are things that happen to you, but the smart ones, the proactive ones know that these are choices that you make. So ostensibly, every moment of every day presents a situation where you have the opportunity to make a choice. And in making that choice, you have the opportunity to create a positive result. So you need to decide what do I want to do? And if you want to be a proactive person, which I highly recommend, this is a couple of things you can do. So proactive people use a language that is positive. And we've spoken about positive talk before. So it's all of those positive affirmation words. I can, I am, I will, I do, I want. They're very empowering. They're very self-assured and they are strong directives about what you want and how you want want to design your life. Additionally, proactive people do not blame anybody else for anything, not from the past, not from the present. And in fact, a proactive person takes full accountability for everything in their life as it is right now in the moment. So if something isn't working for them, they look within to see how they can fix that rather than look outside and see who might be uh, affecting their choices because in the end they are in charge of their choices. So just as a summation, a reactive person uses the negative words. I can't, I won't, what if, if only, I'm not able. They also blame others. They say things like, oh well if my parents had taken me to Disney World when I was 10 years old I would never be like this. Or if the people on my team would just do their job then my job would be easier. So instead of that Instead of looking at themselves and taking responsibility, they blame others. Um, so what I wanted to kind of ask you to do to get a sense and a gauge of where you are on this scale of proactive versus reactive is to say, number one, Think of the last time you had a reactive situation in your life. What was the dialogue in that? What what did you say? Um, you can stop the video and resume when you're ready, but really delve into that. What was the last time you were in a situation where you acted reactively? And then once you have that situation, I want you to think about, please, what you could have done differently, how you could have turned that into a proactive situation. And then lastly, I want you to take this whole week as we're working the other habits, listen to your voice as you're in situations on a day-to-day -day basis. And when are you acting, when are you working proactively, when are you working reactively? And if you find yourself in a reactive situation, I want you to try to implement the STAR method, S-T-A-R. Stop what you're doing, take a breath, Take a moment to recoup. A is to ask yourself, is this real? Is this really what I want? Is this how I want to act in this situation? And then R is to respond appropriately. And in this case, responding with a proactive dialogue, a proactive behavior. So that's your task, that's your homework, and that is habit number one in a nutshell. So come back tomorrow and we will start with habit number two. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you then. Bye. So I'm ready.